Yeah. Oh shit, excuse me. What is up? What is up? I'm back. I'm not dead. The channel's not dead. Can you believe it? Do you give a shit? Maybe not. Um, I had about three or four, <coughs> three or four cups of coffee. I don't know. Can you tell? So, what happened? Why have I been disappeared? Why have I been gone? What the heck have I been doing for like however long it's been since I put a YouTube video up? Um, some stuff, some things, miscellaneous stuff. I'm just going to rant a little bit and give you an update, let you know where things are going, uh, what's going to happen. Um, things are going to change up a little bit. It's been about 10 months. Today's au no, dummy. It's August. Today is August 20th, 2016. Uh, <clears throat> it's been about it's been about 10 months now since I was laid off from the uh, 8 to 4:30 uh, corporate cubicle job which you guys know uh, escape your cubicles the name of the channel my name's Dave uh, it's been about 10 months since I was laid off after working in the same cubicle for 10 years um, being miserable a lot of the time um, Fun people that I worked with, a lot of friends. That's the only part that sucks about getting laid off from a big corporate job. Well, you don't get a paycheck, uh, but uh, you're not stuck in that lifestyle anymore if you hate that lifestyle, if you're sick of that lifestyle. All you think about is watching the clock and like, is it 4.30 yet? Is it five o'clock yet? When the hell do I get to go home? <clears throat> you sort of feel like you're in like prison or jail if it's a boring job. If you love your job, good for you, stay there. Um, that wasn't the case with me. I was sick of it. <clears throat> I was always thinking about, what am I going to get out of here? I got to do something else. I don't want this to be my life for another 10 years. It's bad enough. I spent 10 years there and I have nothing to show for it really after that 10 years. So anyway, it's been a long time since I threw a YouTube video up. Uh, here's the thing. I was depressed. Um, as you've if you've watched any of the other videos, I was trying to figure out how to make money without going back into that corporate cubicle life. No, thank you. Not for me. I don't want that. Struggling, scrounging over the last few months. Um, I was the retail picking thing. That is fun. And some people are very good at it. But you have to be out there and constantly find things that you can make money on. Now, I went to some of the trade shows in Vegas. There's thousands of vendors there. You can buy stuff wholesale, but here's the problem. Unless you can buy a lot of that stuff, it's difficult to negotiate the best prices on that stuff. Um, I made some mistakes. I was at the show. I scanned some products with my Amazon app. The stuff showed that it was going to be profitable, but I'm not the only one buying those things at those show special prices. Um... And you got to be smart. You got to think about the size of the items you're going to buy to sell on Amazon. I bought some items that were lightweight, but they were just a little bit too big to ship into Amazon. Yeah. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Um, it's the coffee. It's a little bit too big. It costs a lot of money for me to ship the stuff in. That ate up my profits. I bought about $1,000 worth of stuff at the trade show. A lot of it was one or two items. They were just too big. They were too heavy. I sold most of them. Some of them I did not make much of a profit. The price came down on Amazon. It's like a stock market. You know, the prices fluctuate. That's going to happen. You can either keep your prices high and wait for the price to come back up, which it will eventually, most of these items, when the other sellers run out of stock. Or you can liquidate. I needed cash. I need to move this stuff. I need to flip it quickly. I need to sell it and make money because I need to live off of that money, you know. And <clears throat> my bankroll was too small. I had uh, about $1,500 total bankroll to pay everything. Buy inventory, sell inventory, pay fees. <clears throat> Long story short, I sold all the stuff, but it was barely break even. Uh, learned some lessons. You can't get depressed. You've got to be positive. You've got to learn from the experiences. Um, if I'm doing the, the, the retail picking or buying and selling on eBay and Amazon, it's going to be lightweight items. It's going to be items that have a big margin. You need to at least double or 
two and a half times your money, I would say. If you buy something from a supplier for five bucks, you should be selling it on Amazon for, I would try to shoot for 15 or 20, okay? Because fees and everything else eats into it. And you gotta live. You gotta take a little bit of that money out to survive. Anyway, so that, so when I sold all that stuff, a little bit depressed, um, you know, some of it was a loss. Uh, oh, the other thing. On one of the products that I spent about four or $500 on, all, it was a kid's toy. It was like a mechanical kid's toy. Very popular, very um, very good seller on Amazon. I started getting return requests. I start, They start coming back. This is defective. Then, after a, a few more weeks of this, I, I sold out all my inventory. All of a sudden, Amazon says, oh, you have about 20 units that we're shipping back to you because they are all defective. Apparently, Amazon does test uh, certain items themselves if they're getting a fair number of customer complaints, not just about me as a seller, but about the product in general. And they shipped all that shit back to me. So I lost money shipping the products to them. Uh, I'm not going to be able to liquidate the items on Amazon. The products came back. I put some of them on eBay. A total loss on eBay because fucking UPS and FedEx ream to ship something, even though it's lightweight and it's kind of big. No matter who I ship these things with, it was costing me about $24 just to ship it to my customer on eBay when I sold it. Then you got the eBay fees and PayPal, which totals up at about 10 or 15% on these items. Um, you know, packing supplies. You ship it to them. The item was selling for like 30 or 35 on eBay. I mean, I was at a point where I was just stupid and I listed a couple of them on eBay. They sold... But I didn't make a cent, okay? I didn't make a cent. I lost money on those couple items. That was dumb, yes. Didn't do my research. Long story short, I, I, got, I got rid of all the stuff from the trade show. I uh, was probably a little bit less than break even because the defective stuff they sent back. Contacted the company that I bought it from. Uh, they're a-holes. They, even though they sent me product that was defective from the get-go, they just ignored every email that I sent them. I sent them very nice professional emails. I didn't demand a refund. I just wanted to exchange it for different product. Lesson be learned. All of the vendors um, are not always good vendors. They're not going to stand behind their products. This company didn't stand behind their products. They made the product themselves, but they didn't want to stand behind it. So they disappeared. I had to just blow that stuff out and get rid right. of it just to dump it. So going back to the whole thing... Um, I still don't have a full-time job. This is the whole goal of the channel, guys, is to figure out how to get by, not do the cubicle thing. If you, if I have to do a job, then that's fine. That's realistic. I'll do a job. Um, I don't want to go back and sit in an office for eight hours a day, though. It's going to be something different. Um, I, you know, I, I just don't want to go back to that lifestyle, that that uh, that office thing where I sit all day. It feels like I'm wasting my life away sitting there, okay? I don't want to do that. I want to do anything but that. Even if it makes less, I don't care. I have to get by. Um, I'm really on a rant today, aren't I? You know, it's because I haven't posted a video in so long. Um, I had a family trip. I couldn't earn any money while I was on the family trip. Went to Hawaii for seven days. Spent money there that I barely had saved up. Should have been for living expenses. But when your whole family is going to Hawaii for seven days, um, you got to go, you know. So I went to Hawaii, spent the money there. Uh, a little bit stressful, but a little bit relaxing at the same time. And when I'm on the plane flying back, I don't like flying. I freak out. I get a little bit paranoid. I have to hit the bar before I get on the plane. Even though mathematically and statistically and logically, it is the safest way to travel. I've flown a lot. Um, well, not not ever. I don't fly every year, but I've flown, uh, you know, 20 times, 15 times in my life. <clears throat> anyway, it's been a couple of years since I've flown. Don't like it. Have to get drunk. So I'm always thinking about the crazy shit, right? What if the plane wrecks? What if? Uh, what if? What will I? What feel like? Um, on my way home, it's pitch black. Uh, we're coming back from Hawaii, and. You know, everybody's passed out, but I'm awake, of course, having my little bottles, my little drinks. I got to keep my buzz going on the flight or I'll go nuts. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, you know, if the plane goes down, God forbid, right now, and that's it, my life's over. And I look back and I think about it, you know, I'm like, hell no, that sucks. I don't want that. So it's like when the plane lands and you make it and you get there, 
it's almost, for me anyway, the way I look at it, it's almost like I'm starting a new life. <coughs> oh, shit. So, because if the plane would have crashed, I would have been gone. Everything would have been over with anyway. And, um, <clears throat> and that would have been that. So, it's sort of like when the plane lands, like, oh, I made it. Yeah, no, the plane didn't crash. I'm here. It's almost like I could start fresh from that moment. You know, it's like when these people have these, have these epiphany, whatever the hell you call it, um, and you have that moment and you're like, I can do anything now moving forward. Or like somebody getting out of jail. That's what it felt like to me. It's like, I need a fresh start. I need to have a new outlook. Um, and I'm still positive. I'm very positive and I'm set on not going back to that office thing. But here's the deal. Um, this should be a whole new video. But